an engineer is only a true engineer when they can build things and unfortunately this is not stressed enough in our education system so this is what eantra is all about about sharing our experience in project based learning and seeding the idea of building things amongst students in engineering colleges and seeding more important than that the confidence that they can see a problem and they can build a solution to solve that problem and from that confidence will be born perhaps even an entrepreneur who will go out into the world build the machine that solves the problem and then turn that into a business or an enterprise or maybe give it to somebody else to do so right those skills are desperately important in our economy we don't have enough of those and that's what we are trying to build through our entire project the e yantra lab setup initiative elsi helps a college set up an embedded systems and robotics lab we engage with the colleges by helping them to set up a robotic lab where the teachers themselves can take all this knowledge from us and engage their students similarly we find that when students are given problems to solve using a platform like this they get very excited very motivated and it's very easy to teach very complex uh, subjects and a lot of multidisciplinary skills we are in the process of uh, setting up some 500 robotic labs throughout the country and we are very very excited by the potential that we see in front of us of making a tremendous difference in society through our work on embedded systems and robotics the first step in setting up an elsi lab is the principals meet principals meet we invite uh, principals and heads of departments and we tell them about the initiative uh, typically a college sends us a request saying that they are interested in setting up a robotics lab so we tell them coordinate the principals meet and send us a list of interested colleges in their region principals then send us a letter of intent uh, they commit training of four teachers and also they allocate funds to set up a robotics lab in their college and procure a few basic equipment then comes the training of the four teachers uh, the training of the four teachers happens in two stages the first stage is the face to face workshop it's a two day workshop where the teachers are trained in the basics of the robot uh, after this Uh, training the teachers are very comfortable holding the board and also they are able to do a few simple programming exercise as we all know practice makes everything perfect especially so when you are trying out a new technology so the teachers who have gone through the two day face to face workshop need to practice what they have learned and learn more new concepts that is why we introduce the star space training which is a training for teachers completely online over a period of 4 months during this period teachers will be given small experiments that will be delivered to them online which they open work on it submit get feedback and learn from the whole thing and to aid them in this process we give them video tutorials and if they have any questions they can post their queries on a online discussion forum within 24 hours their queries are answered even otherwise they can pick up the phone and talk to the eantra help desk we have our project engineers waiting to take those calls and resolve the problems immediately to help the teachers so this task based training helps the teachers to hone their skills learn new things like 
how to interface sensors and actuators and they're really ready by the end of this four month period to handle a full fledged project on the robot. At this point in time, we introduce what is called task based training challenge. It's called TBT challenge. And we don't make it mandatory. The teachers who feel confident that they've learned enough and they want to try out a whole project using the robot, they participate and we give them a theme uh, and we tell them what to do and they implement this project over a period of two months or maybe one month and a half and upload a video. Based on this video, we select a few teams for as finalists to come to IIT Bombay. The entire trip paid. So they come here, take part in our annual e -antra symposium. So during these, this period when they are participating in the TBT is when the college procures the equipment, sets up the lab, and we conduct their validatory function and lab inaugurations simultaneously and completely online. As soon as you have a lab, you become part of this e community that we have. We already have about 150 colleges, 80 more labs are in the pipeline. We have a target of 500 labs. And once you become a part of this community, you will have access to other labs experiences, other teachers experiences, and a lot of content, code, lectures, modules, teaching material, and things like this with which you can empower your own teaching and make life much more exciting both for yourselves and for your students and definitely for the country.